The effects of erosion can be subtle and difficult to see at first, but they're there. Virgin gray wooded soils, for example, have several distinct layers. A leaf layer, a leached mineral layer, a layer of deposition, and the unaltered parent material. The top three layers are most important to the farmer. The surface is covered by a thin layer of leaves and grass left by the forest cover. Rain soaking through picks up acid from the decomposing leaves and leaches the fine clay from the next layer into the layer below. The material left in the leached second layer is brought to the surface by plowing. Because of its poor physical structure, it forms a crust after a rain. This slows infiltration and makes the soil more susceptible to erosion. The higher clay content of the third layer often restricts water penetration. That means water soaking through the top two moves along the surface of the third, carrying topsoil with it. The result is erosion like this. It can be caused by spring runoff or even a heavy rain. Winning the erosion battle depends on water management and smart farming. The most important tool in fighting erosion is conservation attitude. No amount of research statistics or government regulations can replace the simple desire to protect the land from erosion. That can mean not trying to drain all the water off the land as quickly as possible. Fast drainage can cause more erosion. Storing some of the water in natural reservoirs like sloughs can make it available for livestock, irrigation, wildlife and recreation. Fighting erosion demands good land management too. That may mean changing traditional farming practices. For example, most erosion occurs on summer followed fields. Land is usually summer followed to conserve moisture, control weeds, and increase soil fertility. It can appear to have all three effects in the short term, but it could be ruining the soil in the long run. In fact, scientists have shown in many areas, summer following doesn't conserve enough moisture to make it worthwhile. The reason soil seems to become more fertile when it's summer followed is that organic matter is decomposed and nitrogen is released. But that means organic matter is lost from the soil and eventually the soil will become infertile and lose tilt. Soil scientists all agree repeated summer following is really just a way of mining the soil. They suggest replacing summer following with either continuous cereal cropping or a rotation of forages and cereals. Legumes are an excellent choice because they add nitrogen to the soil as well. While sod forming grasses not only add organic matter when they're plowed under, their roots help bind the soil together to prevent erosion. Continuous cropping, however, may require closer monitoring of the soil. means regular soil sampling, analysis, and interpretation to ensure that adequate nutrient levels are available to the crop. The organic matter left by these crops does more than supply nutrients. Substances are formed that help hold the soil particles together. They act like a kind of cement that breaks down over time. So new organic matter is constantly needed to help bind the soil into what are called stable soil aggregates. Crop residue left on the surface slows down evaporation and during rainstorms breaks the impact of raindrops, so prevents splash erosion. Straw and stubble slow the flow of water over the surface too giving more time for it to soak in, cutting the risk of rills and gullies. The kind of tillage equipment used determines how much residue is left on the surface. A plow leaves virtually none. A disc, about 40%. A cultivator, 80%.
To minimize erosion, use the machine that will leave the most crop residue on the surface. Over cultivation, and cultivating at high speed will pulverize the soil, ruin its tilth, and leave it open to erosion. <laughs>